hello, hello, and welcome to the first ever inaugural episode of the Crazy Town Podcast live on Twitch. Get hype. Get hype. I'm Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. Man, it's been a while since we heard that, huh? You're damn right. It feels so, good uh, to get it out again. Yeah. We are here live on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Crazy Town Media Live. And all of our social media is right down along the bottom. It's, down, it's right down there. If you want to hit any of them subs, any of them follows, you're good to go. TNT. What's up? How you been? Pretty good, man. How about yourself? Uh, been a while. Been a while. You realize it's been almost six months since we've done one of these, right? Actually, more than six months. It has to be longer than that. But no, yeah. yeah. So, uh, we've been doing other stuff. Yeah, we're live from a crazy town compound. <laughs> we've been doing the YouTube. We've been doing YouTube stuff. We haven't forgot about this. It's been a long time coming, I think, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to get back into it. Yeah, this, as excited as I can. Yeah, be. right? If you're this, a, uh, this is me as excited. This is as excited as he gets, for sure. So, if this is the first time ever watching, we do have two other seasons of the podcast. If you're listening on a replay, welcome back, friends. It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome <laughs> back. So, uh... Yeah, TNT. So, what have you been doing for the last six months besides YouTube? I work, man. I go to work. Ah, I have dude, a job. This is our work. I don't know. We're the work of the people. Uh, d- spiraling into a depression? Is that what you want to hear? Is that? I mean... Um, no, man. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> You're sad now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't, we, we basically do YouTube, man. Yeah. We, do, we do videos... Uh, Madden is blowing up on our channel. You got to come and see that. This guy has a solo... Magnifique. Oh, his souls are magnifique I, too. Why, thank you. Oh, isn't isn't he nice? I am nice. I, uh, and I know I do. Yeah, I do my solo, and we always have our collaborative things because no matter what, we're a team. Hell yeah, we're a team. Yin and yang. We're wearing masks. Full just, of energy. We should we should tell them about the masks. What about them? We're wearing them. Oh, are we? Yeah. I, thought, I thought my face really looked. We're like wearing this. masks. You gotta let them know. Oh, okay. All tell right. them why we're wearing masks. Uh, cause you wanted to. No, don't, don't, no. <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm not going to tell them anything of the sort. Cause the internet makes me sad. No, not no. really. Jonas just wants to preserve our anonymity. I work in the medical field and I've learned from previous experience that I don't want to get fired, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I Jonas mean, is scared that somebody's going to steal his identity. Because yeah, someone's going to steal Jonas.com yeah, from he's me. He's secretly a billionaire. <laughs> 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 Anyways, so we're going to do a little quick stay of the union of the crazy town. Our former podcast was bi weekly. Yep. It was not live. It was not live. It was fucking long. Uh, yeah. it, it was like over an hour every time. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so Definitely. basically, what's a little different? These ones are, we're going to shoot for 30 to 45 minutes, but we talk a lot. Yeah. We are long winded. Yeah. So, uh, that may or may not happen. Replays of this will be on our YouTube channel. Crazy Town Media in the corner mm-hmm. on YouTube. Follow us there to get replays. And, of course, any audio-only version will be on iTunes, SoundCloud, all the places it's normally been. One major difference. What's that? Previously, I brought all the news. You were always the surprised man. Yeah, I like playing that role. Yeah, yeah. But we're splitting it. The yin and yang. TNT is bringing some hot fire topics. I am? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know? You didn't bring anything? Um. You better look them up, right? I got some sticky You got some notes. sticky, some used sticky notes. Uh, I have a cell phone okay. here. Okay. Start bringing I up the cell phone stuff. Well. Probably move this paraphernalia. Oh, um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so it's not on stream. That's probably a good idea. No, it's not. It's blocked out. No, all right. Good. But. No pressure. You're a first friend. What you got? All first right, Joe. I'm fine with that. I'm ready to host it up, man. I'm, I'm glad. Hey, team. Teamwork makes it. the fucking dream We're work. fucking doing it. First story. Ooh. Jonas. All right, what's up? Jonas, I want to talk about your mans. Who's my man? Your mans. I don't I don't have a man? You have a mans. <laughs> you do. Have... You have a mans. Who is it? You're wearing... His logo right now. Oh, the Patriots. And oh, I know what you're talking about. I'm not talking about Thomas Brady. Oh. I'm talking about your man, Robert Kraft. Whoops. 
All so right. he's in trouble. All right, I got that. I did bring a little something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on a sticky note. The this ultimate is, professional. Hey, but I got three pages of sticky notes. So Ooh, so, shit. Suck my dick. All right, so Robert Kraft is a 77-year-old billionaire. Yes. He, he has some money. My man's went to a massage parlor. Yeah. I'm sorry, not my man. Your man's you're, went to a now, massage parlor. Now you're trying to steal my man. No, no, I don't want your man's. <laughs> This is the last okay. thing I want is your right, man. All right. Anyway, he he went to a massage parlor, got a massage. Yes. Um, I don't know if he was offered or if he asked, but regardless of what happened, uh, he received a sexual favors from I believe two women, and he paid them both a hundred dollars. Wow. And then he got into his Bentley. <laughs> and he drove back to his mil- billion dollar mansion and probably had sex with another beautiful woman who stays with him because of his money. He, uh, I shouldn't make that joke, but fuck it, you know that's the case. <laughs> he got into his Lamborghini Diablo. No, it was and, really a Bentley. Oh, was it really? Had. It was really a Bentley. Um, I did a little research. So. What I want to ask you. Wait, and what I, okay, so he ahead. paid $100 for an HJ? I guess it was oral and manual is, okay. what, is what the story says, but I'm not sure because I also saw where the accounts were. He had a threesome, so I don't know if it's okay. a different occasion okay. or if it's the same thing, All right. but either way, my man's had a little, little side piece at the massage parlor. Yes. Okay. what do you want to ask me now? Okay. What I want to ask you is how does that make you feel about him being, uh, what, what do you, him soliciting prostitution? Yeah. Like, um like okay okay go ahead give me give me i mean like give me your I snap guess my, my first thought when i when i saw the story snap feels. why did that dude have to pay a major massage parlor for an hj i mean a hundred dollars you can think of it like this man if i had to make my own hamburgers like <laughs> it's like Wait, the difference, it's like the difference between making a hamburger at home or just going to the Burger King and getting. Are you one. comparing Robert Kraft to Dave Thomas? No, I'm ref- no, I'm saying that the solicitation of sex is it's quick and it's cheap and it's it's kind of like McDonald's, where if you're making a burger, no, listen, wait, if you're making wait, a burger wait. in the kitchen, you gotta like. Get the pan out. You got to put the pan, the meat in the pan. You got to fry it. You got to wait for it. You have to take care of it. All right. Okay. Okay. But don't you think Robert Kraft, with all of his army of yes men he probably has, could just say, I'd like to have sex with a woman tonight, and they could find him a woman to like... He wanted a massage too. You don't think he could find a massage along with that? I'm not saying is that the man did not have other other avenues of access to this sexual act. Right. I'm saying if you're out, you're getting a massage. 77 years old. If my dick still works at 77, fucking jerk I guess it that's, for me. That's the miracle. Of this whole yeah, situation. jerk that some bitch for I me, don't please. No, dude. No. Okay. Now, if, that, if you had that kind of money, like it, you wouldn't need a rub and tug place. Okay, so wait, you have a problem with his logic, is what you're saying. He is I'm a asking how you feel about it. Old man in the world. It'd be like fucking LeBron James rolling up into the fucking. But I'd be like, you can just finish me well, off while I'm, I'm here. I can guarantee you that anywhere LeBron James rolls up into, he can get a hand job. <laughs> he <laughs> could come into this room right now and I'd be the first one. Wow. Ripping That'd at his basketball good. shorts. Be- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this, is why, uh, this is why my anonymity is protected. I just want to let you know so. that. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay, look. All right. I was asking you more of a moral sense because I don't really see an issue with prostitution as a whole. But in the case of this place that was uh, raided, they were uh, looking for what was sex trafficking. Yeah, yeah. And that means kind of that they take women from uh, from third world countries right, or right. poorer countries and they... They give them an avenue to get into the States and then they Maybe take their passports away from them and they kind of force them into this sex slavery. Like they'll get deported if they don't like. Essentially, yes. Right. And then they have family and children and they're scared and they demonize the police to these women. So when I looked at it from that sense, I was just like, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. That is really fucked up. But I don't think that he was the head sex trafficker. He was just going <laughs> to get a hand job. Robert so Kraft. Nothing- I don't of the craft cheese for time. <laughs> that's what it is. And you're right, he does sound like a restaurant. Absolutely. <laughs> Robert Kraft sounds like he could be a restaurant in his own right. I just 
I just felt bad. I feel bad because he's being demonized when he just wanted to get a hand job. I don't see a problem with paying for a hand job. I, I feel like every girl I've ever had sex with, I had to buy her dinner, and I already know you're hating this. I had to buy her dinner. I had to be nice. It's the, it's a form of payment. If I could just go in and get a hamburger from the McDonald's, I would take that. I admit that it makes men lazy and not want to hit on women and not want to like com commit relationships and they want to keep that out of America and that's why we have it as illegal in the country but the man just wanted he's 77 his wife just died in 2011 it, and Look, his wife did die yeah, yeah. I, if anything I think if you're over the age of 60 you should be allowed to get a hand job for money <laughs> that's like a new like put this in the constitution if you're <laughs> over <laughs> If you're over 60, you're allowed to pay yeah. for HJs. As a part of the Affordable Care Act, 60-year-olds can now pay part for hand. Medicaid, <laughs> Medicare, yeah. like women and men over 60 yes. can go to rub and tugs and get their, yes. get their jollies off for free. And you, and you start taxing these, these uh, senior brothels. Yeah, well, that's a little money. different than a fucking sex slave. Yeah, I agree. Okay, all right. So we agree that the yeah. sex slavery is fucked up. Yeah, if it was just some woman that wanted to do it, she was just like, oh, yeah, I love jerking dick. I can get paid for this? That's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... And he's a billionaire, too. Yeah. Well, I read a little story today about this. What's the that? reason that all came down mm -hmm. is a routine, like, inspector went there and saw signs that, like, people were living in the parlor. And he oh, was like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like, I didn't really get into Why, that. Uh, it was just a headline today I saw. It was like, yeah. it was like a uh, craft bus stems from yeah. inspection. They saw, He's like, like there why was, is there pillows and little, uh, yeah, there was like beds in there. And yeah. they found like towels with semen. Oh, and Jesus. They, yeah. I didn't realize they found all that. Yeah. And they were like, the bathroom was kept in poor condition. So they, they kind of figured out that these girls were living there. They weren't being well taken care of oh, and geez. that they were potentially being that held against their will. Sex trafficking is bad. So, yeah. That's just disgusting. So, yeah. When I looked at it from that point, it even changed my point of view. Okay. I was kind of trying to bait of like, I don't see anything wrong with him going to get a hand job out of you, but you did not give me that. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, this dude's stupid for getting a hand job. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, you are trying to bait me so you could fucking slam the hammer down. I, was, I mean, I was just trying to bait a response that I thought you would give me. But oh, okay. It's I all good. It. All right. All right. All right. That's the end of my story. All Thank right, you. Cool. It's a palate cleansing time because you know the normal stories on the crazy town are not <laughs> serious stories. They never are. So. What do you got, Jonas? Uh, TNT Dynamite, got a question for you, friend. You ever used a vending machine before? <laughs> dude. You can't. <laughs> you can't do this. Place, dude. You can't. No, no, you can't do this. <laughs> No, do it. That's how we do it. I wanted to do it. I wanted you to do it. I know. You know how I burn I want, the stories. I want you to do it. So, do it. in September 2018, Corum, New York. You know where that is? I know where New York is. <laughs> does, that, does, does that count? It's on Long Island. Okay. So, I'll take your word for all it. All right. So, three mystery vending machines appeared in this city. Not like full-blown like pop machines, like Mountain Dew and shit. Like the little... Um, they have like the, the little quarter slots, like a pool table, and like it's almost like you would have like a condom dispenser in a bathroom or something. Oh, so like the wall mounted ones. Kind of, but, but they were cemented into the ground. Like someone. Oh, okay, okay. But they were cemented into the ground. I get the idea. An apartment complex, mm -hmm. a Home Depot, Do. and a shopping center. And they were blue and white, very, very plain, and they just said pens on them. Pens? Yeah, it costs two dollars to get a pen. A pen? Yeah, I mean, you see what kind of pen are we? What kind of pen are we talking about it's a here? Two dollar pen. Did it have the pen emblazoned across the side so I can see what I'm getting? Well, people start. I mean, curiosity. If you ever, if you saw that, would you be like a two dollar pen? Like what the fuck? Am I'd I be like, I'm not paying for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so what happened? Give me, give me. So the basically, go. people started getting these pens, and come to find out, if you disassembled the pen. Inside was a glass tube and filters. It was a, a crack pipe. It was essentially a crack pipe. Someone put three random crack pipe vending machines. Where do you it, find this shit? <laughs> Where do you find this shit? In New York. So, right. so let me ask you my first question. Do you, see, do you see anything wrong with someone putting up a crack pipe vending machine? I mean, how crackheads aren't necessarily out there looking for uh, pens. Do you, do you, <laughs> like, but, but maybe that's, I don't, I'm not a crack guy. I'm not like, into the cracks. It's, I mean, how do you know you're getting a crack pipe? Maybe they call them, maybe they refer to crack pipes as pens. 
You think it's like slang for crack pipe? I don't. I didn't research that. I mean, come on, Jonas. Come on. I thought you were a journalist. This is a brand new Crazy Town podcast. <laughs> All the research is out the window. All right. Well, no. I mean, I don't really. <sighs> yeah, there's a problem with it, Jonas. Is there? Well, what's what's the difference between that is and it, shop? Okay, is it illegal to sell crack pipes? That's my first question. If you market them as crack pipes, if you market them as pens, no. Okay, then well, they're within their rights of the law. Yeah, so like fucking if you go let to them a head have it. You can go. I'd like a tobacco pipe, please. A water. You can't go in there and be like, "Give me that bomb, bitch." You can't do that. <laughs> they get mad. That's very true. They have signs that say, "We sell water pipes." Oh, you know, I actually had this happen to me one time. Oh, did you take someone in there didn't know the etiquette? I was smoking crack. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I went into a head shop, and the lady behind the counter said, hey, maybe you would like one of these. And I was like, what is that? And then she says, oh, it's this little glass tube, and it has a rose in it. And I was like, I don't know what I would use that what, for. What do you have? Why would it? What's a rose? Dude, she was trying to sell me a crack pipe. But she thought you were a crackhead? I don't know. Do I look like a... Don't answer that. Don't. Does he look like a crackhead? <laughs> Stop. Put no, in the John, comments. This is the Jonas, replay. do not have them do that. Call the action. With this mask on, I probably do. <laughs> God damn it! Anyway, so, but I didn't. I didn't buy the crack pipe. I just want to make. I want to make that clear. I didn't buy no it. cracks bought. But anyway, so like obviously there were many complaints okay. about, about these. Well, how? Who found out? Well, they started complaining. People did to like the cops about what that they were selling crack pipes in front of their apartment. Who found the- out they were selling crack pipes? Whoever put the quarters in. It wasn't like a, it didn't have like a debit card reader and shit. So wait, it, it actually dispensed pens, though, is what I'm asking. Well, inside the, the pen casing was this, I don't know if it, it didn't say okay. if it actually wrote or not. All right, I mean, I guess. I was thinking like, if you get a pen, you get a pen. If you get a pen and a crack pipe and you, you don't smoke it, crack. It was hidden. Okay. Like, and then, so, but, okay. Okay, go All ahead, go right. ahead, so go ahead. That. Okay, so there's that on its own. All right. There was many complaints. I get that part. Naturally. They decided to have some vigilante justice, man. They destroyed the machines. One of them got smashed to bits with a sledgehammer. Do you think that's right? No, that's destruction of public property. Or Government prop- property. Gov- it is was it the go- president. No. <laughs> I was going to say Spoiler this. alert. <laughs> it, it was Donald Trump the whole time. <laughs> no, I don't Putting know. Putting crack pipe dispensers in the neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They didn't say yeah. who did it or who. No one got arrested. I don't think. But these motherfuckers yeah. cemented them into the ground. Yeah, and we're made saying, them look real legit. Yeah, but like, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't know. All right, if you were a connoisseur of crack, I'm not a hypo- connoisseur hypo- of crack. Hypothetically, I don't, I don't like this narrative. Hypothetically, yeah. say you lived in apartment complex ABC. Maybe ABC complex had a high crackhead. User base. Okay, so there's a lot of crackheads in the neighborhood. Yeah, and maybe like, maybe fucking some guy was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start a small business. I'm going to sell crack pipes to these crackheads. Yeah, but like, I don't, do they have like a limited use? I don't know. I'm not a crack connoisseur. There's a lot of questions I have when you start talking about crack pipes. Because it's just a crack pipe. Essentially, all you need is one. And then you can smoke all the crack you want, right? <laughs> but there was filters that said, I don't know, maybe the filters get dirty? I mean, the filter might be nice. It might You can get like a menthol filter. <laughs> a or like... menthol crack filter? <laughs> if you're can a crackhead, get... why don't you leave us some information about how crack pipes Can work? I get my crack pipe filter with a little bead you crush in it to make it... <laughs> like make it menthol, like the, like the Camel Crush cigarette? Yeah. Yes, you can. That's my question. So, so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you're, if you're going to sell something that has unlimited use, it's like you're not going to sell a bunch of them. Yeah. And if somebody needs a pen, let them pay $2 for a pen. Yeah. I understand. It's, it's, it feels like they're kind of allowing the people in the neighborhood to smoke the crack. Let me ask you this. But, what if instead of enabling. crack pipes, it was just rolling papers? I don't think nearly as many people would have an issue with it. They'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Save me a trip to 7-Eleven. Yeah. I don't have to go and pick up sticky notes now. I can just buy a pack of rolling papers and write all my important notes on that. Okay. All right. That's, that's, I, that's, that's, it. that's it for that story. It was a little quick hit. I, I like it. Yeah. It was good. Are you sure? Jonas, you did oh, good. Oh, shit. He's a good guy. He is. It's me. I did goods. All right, so I lost my, my sticky note. Did you already? Yeah, it's gone, dude. It's absolutely. Oh, it's down there. There it is. It is absolutely. You, I mean, you know, like, what you want to talk about, right? I You're know. like, I have no idea what I want to talk about. I do know what I want to talk about. What? I want to talk about your mans. 
More <laughs> man? How many yeah. do I have? I want to talk about your mans. Who's my man? I want to talk about your man, Jesse Smollett. Oh, how is this my man? It's your man. Yeah, I've never even seen him. No, nah, look, speaking for all the black community, we gave him up, man. We traded him. Tra <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> traded him. Where would you trade him for? <laughs> I don't know. You trade something for something else. Yeah, you we took. Banish and we took like a. Uh, we took like a. What do you call that? A, a draft. Oh. We took a draft pick. We <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh my God! For, for a large sum of cash and a, dra a seventh round draft pick, <laughs> we took a draft pick for Jesse Jesse Smollett. Where'd you trade him to? Uh, <laughs> we traded him to the Caucasians. Oh, that's wow! How, that's how it works, Joe. Wow. It's, it's the, no, it's like the you, come on, Joe. You know you've seen the Chappelle skit. I know. I'm just giving you a hard right. time. I appreciate the hard time. All right. Anyway, so we all know what happened with Jesse Smollett. Oh my God! We dude. know that he went to uh, a fucking subway at two o'clock in the morning. He should have got his ass beat just for that <laughs> wait if you show up at a subway at two o'clock in the morning yeah there's something yeah you need face. you need your ass whooped honestly because what what are you eating who's going to a subway in 2019 anyway uh and then he paid two of his friends one being his personal trainer and his brother who are these big diesel just huge bodybuilders i did see a picture of those dudes yeah. they're jacked as fuck yeah they are pretty fucking big oh like my God. the dude had like 12 ab anyway <laughs> were you staring at i was not staring at them he's like oh what's the these guys are i knew he was gonna say that. how'd you know but it, it, he hired these men he paid them thirty five hundred dollars thirty that's how much he paid him? $3,500? Yeah. How's that sound to you? Not to commit a hate crime because you're going to fucking jail. My man, I'm sorry, not my man, it's your man. We your traded man's. him. <laughs> Only till the end of the night, then he's he's flying on a plane to Minnesota. Everyone, I think everybody traded him. Like, I think, like, <laughs> everyone's like, nobody wants him. I was like, him. nah, no. Nah, oh, nah. man, we're going to kick him off the team. Dude. All right. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. He paid him 30. He makes $100,000 every episode of Empire, the show that he's on. Okay. He paid them thirty five hundred. Seems a little bit of a low ball. Wow, Just, three and a half percent on one episode. Yeah. Ooh. That's not enough. No, I, I, there's no no one could pay me any amount of money yeah. to do a hate crime on anyone. Oh, but it don't end there, Jonas. Oh, it doesn't. It don't end oh, there. Oh shit. The reason that he did this is because he didn't feel like he, he was getting enough money. He first sent a letter. With like letters he had cut out of a magazine. Oh, like a ransom note? Yeah. Oh shit. And like I we got your son. Yeah. Okay. And I think he crushed up like a Tylenol or an ibuprofen pad and put it in the envelope okay. to kind of like white, scare white powder somebody. Yeah, kind of like, oh, like anthrax. anthrax here exactly. Two thousand one. He was trying to scare the people that opened up his mail into thinking that somebody was going to do an attack on him. But they. Oh, this is like preemptive. Yeah, this Whoa. is before. But they swept that under the carpet. Oh, they didn't even talk about it. Yeah. He, he was, so he was pissed. Yeah, he was mad. He was like, somebody just tried to kill me, guys. I'm giving him a little Michael Jackson. Somebody's trying to kill me, okay. guys. And nobody did. Nobody tried to kill him? Well, I mean, nobody. It was him. Oh, there he <laughs> He sent it to himself. Oh, so he tried to kill himself by yeah. Tylenol poisoning, and he failed. Exactly. God, I'd be pissed if I tried to kill myself with so, Tylenol poisoning <laughs> by putting it in a letter, too. Anyways, <laughs> they found they found the magazine that he had cut oh, the letters found it? in oh, his dude. house. What magazine was it? Please, oh, no. it was Vanity like, Fair. It was like fucking like cooking.com. He just was like, oh, Martha Stewart's new recipe. Let me get a little C out of that. <laughs> what? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. So yeah, they found a magazine. Uh, the bodybuilders were found on tape buying the bleach, the rope. The bags, all the shit that they needed. I'm not sure if it was all of it, but I know they were caught on tape buying the oh. shit. Fun fact, on that very same tape, there's a man that can be seen stealing gloves from the very same shop they were in. Was it Jesse Smollett? No, it was not Jesse Smollett. So they got like a, it's like, it's like they, two birds, one stone. Yeah. They saw two crimes. One they was like a fake hate crime. <laughs> yeah. And one was like petty theft. Double justice. <laughs> Double Dude. justice. Okay. I love it. How do you okay, Jones? Go ahead. I'll, I'll I'll give you a minute to rebuttal. There's no rebuttal. I've got a lot. I've got a lot on that on that subject, like he, and I'll give you okay, a moment. Okay. Like when I first heard the story, like before all this shit came out, I was like, mm -hmm. "That's really fucked up." That someone would like put a noose around this dude's neck, throw some substance on him, whatever. I was like, "America is fucked up." 
I was yeah. like, why would that shit happen in today? Twenty nine. It's twenty nineteen. Why would that happen? I mean, it's, it's... <clears throat> then the shit starts coming out like he may have knew the guys that did it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he definitely knew I'm the like, guys that did it. How? This dude obviously okay. He 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 has enough wherewithal to like get famous, somewhat famous, get on a p- popular ass TV show. Yeah, he's a good actor. Did you see the Dateline interview or Good Morning oh, America? He went on an interview tour. Too, he went on a oh, Good shit. Morning America. He cried during the interview. Oh shit! So Black Tupac cried <laughs> on Good Morning America. Wait, isn't real Tupac black? What? You said black Tupac. <laughs> I meant gay Tupac. Gay. Oh, god damn it, Jones, you're right. I was like, I'm what sorry. is? I was like, is that the next bomb we're about to drop? <laughs> <out of me?" laughs> Tupac was never black. But like, he's not a dumb man. I mean, no. obviously he's a dumb man, yeah. but where would you ever think that this was a good idea? Like, why would you go to, like, you know what I'm going to do? I want more notoriety. I'm going to pay people I know to do a hate crime on me. <laughs> like, and at s- least go with people you don't know. And send a ransom note with fake white powder in the federal mail. That is honestly, oh, that's the worst part. The <laughs> hate, fake hate crime is more like you're an asshole. Never talk to us again. He got fired from a show. But he's under federal charges because of the fact that he used the mail. And he saw the fake police report. That's a felony. Yeah. yeah. He's looking at Kids, minimum a year. Don't ever right file now. a fake police report. You're wasting law resources that could be hunting down rapists <laughs> and murderers and motherfucking abusers. That's right, Jonas. You tell him. I'm all here for the police. <laughs> I agree, though, honestly. Dude, it's like... Yeah, oh, well, I think get it out. Really, kind of fucked up. Get it about, out. Like, I mean, the whole situation. Yeah, but Black History Month, by the way. Yeah, but that's not fucked up. I mean, it's that's... fucked up. It happened. For... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, anyway, up. you're right. Try well, hard. I guess like they show. Well, here's another part I saw. I saw like he he never took the noose off his neck. Like he still was walking around. Like he got all the way. Like before it all came out, they were like, "Wouldn't you take that shit off your head before you like go like to the police?" Yeah. Like he ate the sandwich with the noose on. <laughs> Jesus. That's what happened. He ate the sandwich. He's like, oh, I just got a hate crime. I'm real hungry, though. Let me eat the Subway real quick. Fucking Jared. Jesse Small. Subway <laughs> is the goddamn Antichrist, dude. Jonas, what if I, what if I smoletted you? Be smoletted. <laughs> yeah, what what if I sl- no, not hate crime. You. Oh. What if I faked a hate crime to get more pay out of the, out of the, for, for my services? I was like, no, it's actually dangerous for me to work for the crazy town. I like had somebody beat me up in the parking lot. <laughs> I'd be like, what would that's you stupid. say? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, that's stupid. no, but I remember what I was gonna say. What? When that first came out, and it came out that he may be behind it all, mm-hmm. Empire was like, we're just gonna scale back his role on the show. They like didn't fire him right away. They were like, he had a big musical number. Let's take that out. Let's cut his part down a little mm-hmm. bit. Then later they were like, no. oh. He's got to go. Oh, you got to go. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. He tried. Like, he went back, but, like, people were not having it with him. They are like, I can't believe you did this, man. How are you going to do... How are you going to, like, look anyone in the face? Anyone. Exactly. Like, anyone in the face. Like, people... Like, his mother doesn't even respect him. (laughs) What? (laughs) I'm sure his mom doesn't respect him either, man. (laughs) She's probably unhappy, but I don't know if your parents ever lose, like, oh, I guess they could lose respect. Dude, if, if, you tell me if you went out and murdered someone, your mom wouldn't be like, TNT, eh, I don't know if I'm going to come see you anymore. <laughs> Mama Dynamite would forgive me for doing anything. Wow. All right. Fair enough. I love you, Mom. <laughs> All right. I want a quick hit on this one. She's Another up. quick hit. Big up, Moms. She's alive. So. But she's up north. She's a, I'm sorry, keep going. Keep she's going. alive. Oh, wait. I mean, she's up north. All right. Keep going. TT Dynamite? Yo. You ever had your phone die on you? If you're new, <laughs> if you're new here, this is what he does to me. He does this to me. Yes. I'm just asking you yes. a general question. Jonas, yes, I've had my phone die before. <laughs> yes, I've had my phone die. That must that's that must be a pain in your ass. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, that does. Do you have a product that can prevent that from happening? New cell phone company. It's automatically well, turned into an infomercial. Yeah, like, <laughs> are you tired of your cell phone battery not making it to where you need you to go? Do. Uh, anyways, mm-hmm. a company called uh, Avenir Telecom. Uh, company. Okay. They came out with an 18,000 milliampere battery for a phone. What the fuck does that mean? 
What's um, a milliamper? Basically, they claim that you could use the phone for one week straight without it dying or 48 hours of continuous video without yeah. the phone dying. And how long does it take to charge? Hold on, I'm getting there. Okay, I, I understand. We got to, we got, well, it let has me fast charge. Let me say this right now. That is amazing. <laughs> Fair enough. And continue. Okay. The website I saw this on was uh, The Verge. They said it's probably actually more than that. That's a conservative number mm -hmm. because they they tested a battery that was half that size and they got a week's worth of use out of it. So it couldn't wow. even be more than that. Wow. It has a 6.2 inch display and uh, it has two pop-up selfie cameras. I don't. Like, the cameras pop out of it? I don't need that. But why do you need two selfie cams? I don't... be Social media, <laughs> I guess, fair, fair essentially. Enough. Fair enough. It has fast charge. How long? Eight hours. That's not bad. Right? I mean, like, you put... Yo, that's you not bed, bad. That's like... Yeah. Jonas, this is a good story. I, right? <laughs> right? This is a good story. Right? Where do I get one of these? Uh, I don't know. I think it was at like a convention, kind of like, uh, like so. I think it's on the way. It may, you may not even be able to get it here because it's French. But <clears throat> here's here's the caveat to it. It's as thick as three and a half iPhones, so it's like this thick. Oh, it's like a brick. Inch, it's eighteen millimeters, which is it's like it's, an it's inch, a, inch and a half thick. It's a brick. Yes, it's, and it's, it's, so it's six point two by like this thick, which is you know inch, inch and a half. Like it, that thick? No, nah, yeah, something like that. Three and a half iPhones, but like when you hold it, it's like you're holding like an actual like brick piece of a cinder block to <laughs> your head. <laughs> no, dude. Like maybe. <laughs> Give me it's your phone like... and let's let's put our phones <laughs> together. That is what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Are you reading chat? <laughs> <A little bit. laughs> give me your give this me your is phone. Two. That's yeah. I don't. I don't think that's even. Well, enough. that's with cases. So that's probably about how thick it is. Because you got oh, so about that thick, and you just yeah, dude. I mean, that's not. I can handle right, that. Maybe. It's like the guy had a picture of him with it, and I yeah. was like, I feel like I could hold that phone a lot better than I could hold my own phone. Yeah, I, I'd imagine that it being that big means that it probably can't take a hit too well, though. Honestly. Yeah. Well, he said what he said about those selfie cameras is mm -hmm. that he got saw it at a convention, so by the time he got to it midway through the show, it was already kind of not working right, and he said like. It was kind of clunky and like he said, he's like, I would probably use it, but it was like the kinks need worked out. But like, <clears throat> dude, that's like, I mean, like I have a, I have still have an old phone, like an S8 gal. But when I first got that bitch, mm -hmm. I could let it, I could go probably almost <clears throat> two days without charging it before it got down to like zero. And yeah. it would charge in like 40 minutes. Now I can't go a day without well, charging my shit. phone now. Your phone's like, <laughs> you don't even have fast charge why don't you, on that why shit. Why don't you put my shit out there for the world? I'm not like, and I do phone. have fast charge. My phone had just the dawn of fast charge. Thank you. I have an S6. Oh, fuck you if you don't that's like a it. New one. And, don't fuck you. Wow. You live in the same house. I... The crazy town compound. Thank you. Yeah. The mansion. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> to go no. get you one of these motherfuckers. So when are these things going to be available for mass Never. market? I don't know. No. Dude, I Jonas. didn't say it. Dude, that's like when you go to the car show and they're like, look at this car. It runs on lettuce. It was... And then like one day it's going to be out. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> yeah, right? I need a car I mean, that runs I mean, on lettuce. Like, it eventually, you know, it's like, they're like prototypes. You know what I mean? So, like, it may never see light of day, but I feel like it will. Dude, I would totally buy a phone that was that thick. Because, like, you know, like, I need a case. I, I, don't, I, I don't want a phone that's that thick only because it seems like it could be damaged easily. Yeah. And it'd be hard to find a case. And then the case is only going to add, like, how much? What are you going to get, like, a dictionary to keep it in? We don't, maybe they made to make it tough, like a tough book. No. Oh, kind of like the, what are those cases? The otter box. Otter. I was gonna say the badger case. Dude, they used to have an otter case, and they're really neat because there's like a rubber piece and a plastic piece that mm -hmm, goes over it. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy that shit at Best Buy though. They Here's a note to everyone out here: It's gonna kill retail. What's that? You can get things cheaper online than you can in the retail store. Oh my, Jonas! Oh my God, Jonas! You've just blown the mind of all the millennials. And everybody wonders why malls are closing. All the millennials are <laughs> kneeling. Yeah, brick and mortar is over with, man. Yeah, we you gotta start a store, sell cell phone cases. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I don't. Just, Maybe uh -huh. crack pipes though. Ah! Oh, callback. Let's get it. Let's sell. Oh, callback. Excellent. Oh, we need to be able to move the camera in and out. We need a director. A direct, a cameraman. Yeah, like a like what do they call the guy who runs the camera? 
A cameraman? <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> what, dude? Just because, yeah. What, what are you looking at? Nothing, dude. Just chill. <laughs> chill. Be cool. <laughs> Just point at the Crazy Town Media logo. That's all. Where is that at? Boom. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's on the screen. Yeah. So let's move on. That's all I had about that one. It was another quick hit. Let's go over some things real quick, Jonas. What are we going over? Because we're, we're not both along for this world. We're already, <laughs> we're, already we're already a little over time than we thought we'd be. Yeah, right. I know. Uh, let's go over uh, the background here. All right. I just kind of want to talk about the shit we got going on here. Okay. First off, Jonas, what's the name? We got to we got to name them. We have to. Oh, um. And you bought it, so you should. Uh, name I bought it, it and I <laughs> colored it white. Yeah, it you white. you bought it and painted it. So what should we call Ooh. it? We need a good name because show. he's going to be our good luck symbol. He is always good luck. And he is our third member of the fucking of the crazy Oh, group. really? Yeah. Okay. Or, or, I'm sorry, our fourth member. You know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> you, know, oh, you, know, you know who you are. All right. So what's the name? Give me I, a name. By the end of the show, I'll get one. Let me let me, let me me uh, percolate that. Percolate? Yeah. Are we are we going to do more stories? Yeah, fuck yeah. All right. Well, I still want to go over all the stuff, though. I still want to do this. All right, so above Jonas's head, he's painted all of these except no, no. you painted the fear and lower than, didn't you? Uh, yeah. You painted this one too? Yeah. That's pretty good. I didn't paint the Jason one. You did not paint the Jason one. He did not paint the movies to the left. I did. Yeah, I did not create these from my 3D printer spawn. But these are all spawns there's of his a, of his look, mind. There's a tie-in from this in my shirt. Yep. And then uh, eventually, once we get a P.O. box set up, if we get a, a significant followership for, for this podcast. Oh, we're going to set up a P.O. box? Shit! Jonas, calm down. You're, okay. you're putting the cart before the horse. Oh. I said if we get oh, a okay. sub, sub, all right, all right, significant all right. amount of followership, I would like for people to send in some of their examples and we could put it up on the oh, wall as well. you and I. Yeah. They could put a little trinket. We hopefully. Little... Hopefully not in some like Yahweh, like sex act or some shit <laughs> okay all right i'll take the non-sex act <laughs> they, they, they're like what, what the fuck's happening wedding crashers like he's like i call it fucking something it's yeah weird. don't uh, don't paint us in an embrace no dude we that will not go up on the wall <laughs> our dicks intertwined all right anyway uh, I, just, go, go, what, I got i got one more you got one more let's Weird. just do yours and get out of here okay that's it you just want to like you want to nick? You what do you mean? <laughs> We're over time as it is. This is a little, I don't mind if we go over time a little bit. If you want to touch on your story, we'll touch on it. No, I'm like sweaty. Oh. Just do, just do it, man. Okay. Go roll with the punches. I wanted to end the podcast. Good. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Fine, then. I guess I that's how it's going like to work. That. Wow. I didn't mean it like that. Just keep it keep On a happy note. What's I usually show? bring a lot of fucked up stories to the podcast. Yeah. Today, I brought one weird one. Mm -hmm. One, oh, I got to have that. Mm -hmm. And then this one. This one's very nice. This one lacks a segue this one too. Is, I'm excited. TNT. <laughs> have no. you ever God been to, damn it! <laughs> have you ever been to a grocery store? I asked for it too. You did. Uh, yes, Jonas. I've been to many a grocery store in my That's life. That's very nice. I wish that you would have a good time next time you go. I hate going. <laughs> I know you do. That's why I, I wish do. you have a good time. Ugh. This happened. Our buddies up north in Canada. Camp. Kingston. Ontario, Otto Canada. Ottawa. I don't know exactly. It's Kingston, Ontario. Right? Oh, okay, yeah, I know where that's at. This happened very recently. Okay. This week. Last week. I don't know, one of the weeks. Very, very recently. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of Family Day? Yes. Have you? Yeah. What is it? Canadians get a day off to spend time with their family. It's actually a really good idea. I think we should employ that in America. It actually, I know my Canadian trivia is on point, sir. I looked it up a little bit. You are very well versed in Canadian. It is actually the same day as President's Day in the United States. It is. The third 100. Monday in yep. February. 100%. And it is not a federal holiday. Banks do not close. Mm -hmm. They call it something else that I forgot to write down. So we won't even mention that. <laughs> it's just a day for families. Yeah. Dude, you just spend time with your family. So a grocery store. It's actually a great idea. It's called Food Basics. Food Basics. It makes me... I don't know if I'd shop. That's there. a that's an odd name. I didn't. I'm not Would familiar. You shop with... in food basics. I mean, if I was Canadian. <laughs> okay, I guess. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Definitely not Canadian. So somebody in Kingston. Yeah. Forgot to lock the doors to the store. To the food day. basics. Yes. They left the basics out for everybody. So the store was wide open. 
No. There was not one employee to be found in the entire store. Dude, fucking Canadians. They, I, you know what, Jonas? You know where this is going already, don't I you? I believe in the Canadians to do the right thing. <laughs> Give it so, to me. Give it to me. So like they went there was people in the store shopping. Jeez. The doors were they were like, there's no staff here. Like, what the fuck? Like so there was a witness. He he was the one that called the authorities to alert him on this. He saw a man coming out with two packs of cherry tomatoes. Yeah. And he's like, Excuse me, sir. The, you ha what did you do with these tomatoes? He goes, Oh, don't you worry. I left a five dollar bill on the on the checkout counter. I fucking knew it, man. It was actually more than they could He overpaid. overpaid. I know it's so Canadian, man. I so, fucking love them, dude. They're the best. So basically, they uh, they they got with the manager. He reviewed the tapes. There was no damage in the store. Yeah. There was nothing missing, dude. It was and, in the one sale, yeah. they overpaid for the product. That was the only sale that happened, though. Like, yeah, that's a, that was like the only thing that uh that happened. So. But my question to you is, Austin, Texas, down the road. They would never CBS do it. CBS opens, forgets to call an employee in. What would happen? Well, I imagine that it'd probably be ransacked. <laughs> like within 10 minutes, the, all the shelves. It's like, when, it'd, be, it'd be like there was a riot, but there was no riot. People would just be yeah, like. Yeah, it would get ransacked. You post on Facebook, CBS is open. Everyone would just be in it like stealing. <sighs> yeah, to a certain extent I do. Why I'm, are we trash compared to Canadians? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know, man. Like, would you go down there and get something? I probably not because I don't really. I just go to the store and pay for what it. What if it was Best Buy and they had TVs? Okay, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit up here and think it was just Canadian because Canada has areas and boroughs that are different, and there's poor neighborhoods. You, that same okay. thing happened in in the Canadian hood. The Canadian hood. Do they I, have yeah, that? I guess I don't know if Kingston. Yeah. Is Kingston's a relatively large city though. Oh, is it? So yeah, okay. but it's not like hood. I don't think. Oh, no. Okay. But I mean, I wonder what the Canadian hood looks like. <laughs> <laughs> like for real. Everybody's just rolling maple leaves. <laughs> They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking guy just injecting syrup oh, right into his vein. Now, now you're talking. Now you're talking about the Canadians. <laughs> they got hockey puck dispensers with crack pipes in them. Wow, they got crack pipe dispensers. So like, I just, I just thought this was a great. I'm sorry, story. Canada, I love you. Go ahead. We do love you, Canada. All of our Canadian friends. Mm -hmm. We had a couple Canadians on our podcast a couple times. We did. I love them, I dude. I know. The pod couple. Shout out if you guys ever check this out. And Johnny White Trash. I don't think he's doing shit anymore. I don't, no, doing I don't think so. Yeah, but anyways. That's unfortunate. I just wanted to talk about that because I knew in America, dude. Yeah. Shit would be. I mean, if especially any of the neighborhoods we lived in. I feel like a lot of times that the neighborhood that you live in or the neighborhood you live in kind of change your view on society as a whole. environment? No, but it does have a lot to do with the way we view society. Like if you were Jaden Smith, right? you would have a distorted view. Oh, because you live in of, like celebrity land and it's everything is not real. Yeah. I mean, it's real, or it's not like real. or if you if your mom lived in the hood and then you bo you're born in the hood and all you know is hood shit and you don't even realize that there's just this areas like Beverly Hills exist. Not even now because you know that exists because it's all over fucking TV. Right. But just a normal lifestyle like we live. Oh, just like yeah, just like a normal. Just guy. like hey, I go to work, I pay my rent, I I pay a car note, you right, know. Right, 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 right. I cry when I sleep. <laughs> I cry myself to sleep every night, every yeah. single night. So like, it's just kind of like whatever you're used to. That's kind of what you think that the, that society is. So do you think? If this mm -hmm. happened in a rich neighborhood, mm -hmm. or this happened in like one of those like do what you got to do to survive neighborhoods, because every you're going to get different cool. results. Yeah, one hundred percent. Do you think? Do you think if this happened in America, people would be like on like Twitter, like, y'all the CVS on the corner of the street <laughs> is wide open. Come get it. <laughs> Come get you some dental floss. Yeah, yeah, I would totally steal dental, dental floss. floss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it depends what neighborhood. If it was a, an affluent neighborhood, I don't think it would happen. Kingston is a relatively affluent area. Oh, is it a high so end? Some areas okay, of it are. Okay, all right. From what I know. I love high ends. I know very little, but from what I know. So you could be talking shit. I have no idea what I'm talking about. That'd be awesome if it was the Canadian hood and that's still up. So even in like the worst of the worst area, they're still like... <laughs> 
I overpaid for these cherry <laughs> tomatoes, so don't worry. I would have been more surprised if it was a bunch of people that did it. Then I would have like well, warmed my goddamn that's heart. That's all they said was the one guy. But you know, I, I, I want to believe. Like, okay, I honestly think if this happened and I went to the store not knowing that it was a free for all, mm-hmm. and I really needed something, I would probably take it and leave money on the counter too. Yeah. Like if somebody stole that money, I mean. I'm, I did my part. Like, yeah. would I go to jail for that? Uh, it is illegal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because they didn't sell it to you. You basically just walked in, you broke and entered, and then you stole something and paid for it. You just left something in return. That doesn't mean anything. You could have left some like, fucking toe jam. Maybe like you broke into somebody's house, used their tub, cleaned their kitchen for them, fucking <laughs> left a four oh nine out, ate a sandwich, left them like ten bucks, and been like, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Fell asleep in their bed. Yeah. yeah. And they come home and they're like, you mother... Oh, you clean the kitchen? <laughs> Shit. Or, All right, friend, you good? You walk in, like, take their armchair and leave the love seat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> take take their chair, put, like, a hundred bucks on the ground. Yeah. Be like, I'm like, I, well, I guess. A note says fair market value. <laughs> <laughs> We be the worst criminals ever. Can we start doing that? Just like go- take somebody's big screen TV, leave them a fucking stack on the table. They're like, well, I don't want to go to jail. I That's guess. A wonderful segue. <laughs> talking about this last segment. Do you want to do the? La- I don't care, man. Honest, you don't care, but you you're pushing it. Fine, we're fucking doing. We're talking about Takashi. We're going 6-9. out of order. It don't we're even matter. Out. Jonas is forced it out of my mouth, and it's happening. Yeah. Kingston, Jamaica is also a real place. No, it is is not. (laughs) It is too, isn't it? it? No, it's like Wyoming. It doesn't exist. (laughs) Oh, Jamaica doesn't exist? No. Oh, yeah. Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah, in the chat, they said Kingston, Jamaica, dude. Well, Kingston, Ontario doesn't exist. That's my point. I'm not making up cities. Uh, Canada. Canada doesn't. Jonas, the liar of the century. Jonas, if it's Canada, it doesn't count. All right, so fine. We're going to talk about Takashi 6 9 Whoa. All right, I will tell you this, Jonas. Wow. I am a millennial, contrary you to popular, contrary to popular the oldest Millennial Jackson, the ja- oldest millennial in the world, I almost. I don't know why I got to be Jackson. Can I be millennial I've Smith? I've been calling you that ever since you said that. I know, but it's new for the people at home, so I got to act it's offended. It's a throwback to the other two seasons of our podcast. Jonas, I have to be offended for the people at oh, home. Oh, he's an offended guy. All right, so Takashi 6 9 went to jail. He did. He is 22 years old. Is he only 22? We all know the story by this point. Well, recap in case maybe some of these people aren't, aren't from all right, the hip hop community. community. Sakashi Six Nine was a musician, and he rapper. ran a rap. <laughs> ah, he tried to rap. He didn't really play an instrument, so I guess he was a he was an artist. He was a vocalist. He was an artist. All right, so he was an artist. He was hanging with the Nine Trade Bloods, which is one of the largest uh, gang syndicates in New York. Uh, event. He was only kind of doing. Uh, he was funding essentially because he was making a lot of money right, right, right. doing the whole rap thing, and he was funding a lot of the goings on. Feds got win; they took him and everybody associated with him into custody. He was he he's he's telling on everybody. I need, I need to say this: he has rainbow hair and a '69 tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> everybody knows who Takashi. The story's like 20 years old. It says, what is a Takashi 6 9 Don't you ever ask what is a Takashi. Anyway, <laughs> so you know what a Takashi is. All right. Google look. Takashi 6 9 you will be disappointed. Yeah, I'm not. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. My man's is. I'm, that was your man, dude. Yeah, he can be my man. All I right. Guess. My, he, you know, my man's is 22 years old. Okay. He was given 47 years. Woo! You know how old he'll be when he gets out? 69. <laughs> Yo, they did that on purpose. <laughs> No, no, no! That is not ironic. That was purposely <laughs> fucking done. I didn't even think of it in the car. I'm thinking, damn, that means he'd be 70 when it got out. I didn't even know he was 22 years old. I was like, yo, they him. did that on purpose. They're fucking with him. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo! They, they were trolling him. The judge was like, Jonas, you just fucking blew my shit. I and did it, not blow your shit. Anyway. <laughs> It's the farthest thing. No, he did say somebody's D was getting nested on this episode. If you watched episode. today's Desperados video, he said he's going to force some D <laughs> things on me. And it, nope. Jonas, let's stay on track. It's 47 years. Woo! These men that ended up going into process with him yeah. that were also being tried, they f- fucked his baby's mother. They, they did? Yes. Like after he went to jail? Oh, before. 
Oh, so they're all like... Yeah, they fucked his the mother of his child. I did not know that. They threatened his mother's life. Like, no, did they, like... Did she, like, voluntarily have sex, or did they, like, assault her? No, they, yeah, she voluntarily oh, okay. did it. okay. So she was like... But then know. they told him that he did it. They oh, they, they told him, Takashi, that he did it. Okay, you know, okay. basically as a sign of disrespect. Okay, I got you. They... They threatened his life, and they beat him up. Because I don't know if you recall, but before he went in, there was a story where he got hit in the back of the head. He was in the hospital. There was pictures from the where hospital. They, um, where he got kidnapped? Where his yeah. jewelry got stolen? It was an inside job. It was 100%. His, it was his crew. Yeah. Oh, because they, they didn't respect him because he was like... He wasn't really all that He hood. wasn't really a gang member. Now, my question, Jonas, is if you choose that lifestyle, right? Do you are you a like, I've chosen this lifestyle, I should not snitch? Or are you like... I will be 70 years old, 69 years old when I get out. Well, well, here's the thing. I don't think he chose the lifestyle for the same reason that true gang members choose that lifestyle. It's, they, he didn't have no blood in, blood out mentality joining the Crips. No pun intended. I mean, oh, joining the Bloods, Derps. Yeah. He did not have a blood in, blood out for joining the Bloods. No pun intended. Yeah, but he still joined them. And I think he just rose a little bit higher in the ranks, kind of like Peter Principal. He rose a little higher in the ranks of okay. the Bloods than he was capable of. Because he started out just the, like, Bloods have, like, yeah, little guys, like and, then they have, and then they got, like, kingpins. And yeah. he rose to kingpin like, like status. Like, mafia, but yeah. gang members. But yeah. he didn't really know how to handle it, and then all of his money started coming from the rap thing. Right. But it's just, it, it conflicted, so, obviously. So, okay. If I thought he was in it, Cause like, cause like the other guys in that situation, all these other bloods, yeah, they ain't rolling. They ain't rolling what? They ain't rolling on all their friends. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, at this point, if they yeah, got okay. wind that Takashi's rolling, <laughs> yeah, okay, they're not rolling. Yeah. Look, El Chapo just is on trial right now. He, got, he was already guilty on all counts. I thought they had to it's get not... a new jury. Oh, did they? Oh shit! What? They said he was guilty on all charges. No, he was fighting the fact that the jury, one of the members of the jury, went on and had a interview on a TV show, oh. and they said that they were look at they would look at Twitter posts oh, okay. and they would go watch the news. Oh, and they weren't supposed to. And they're not oh, okay. allowed to all right, do that. Cool. So but anyway, anyways, he's fighting that. But dude, I don't know, man. Like El Chapo got snitched on by some of his closest friends. Right. Someone's gonna snitch. Always. Somebody always is going to snitch. If you hit a people with enough time behind bars, I couldn't imagine going in when I was 22 and not getting out until I'm an old ass man with a 69 fucking tattoo on my face. <laughs> well, not to mention that I'm not doing it. That uh, I'm not. You're not doing it. No. Like okay, like not to mention that he is a small, dainty man, <laughs> and in prison, Yo. there's some rumors he has rainbow hair, dude. They super violated him. Like he in would prison. be, he would be yeah. fresh fished. Not he's he's somewhat famous. Mm. He's young. He's skinny. He's fucking. He has rainbow hair when he went in. Like exactly. And people are wondering, like, man, he t it took him no time at all to roll. Have you ever had a dick in your butt? <laughs> That'll make you roll the fuck over real quick. <laughs> all right. I will roll the fuck over. Like if I went to jail and like the first day somebody's like, "You're my friend," and I'm like, oh, I'm, "Okay, yeah, I know everybody who did it, <laughs> and I will tell you this motherfucker right here. I'll tell on you." <laughs> like in sixth grade, Johnny yo, took me to the school store and he stole an eraser. Yo, and I was <laughs> no, I'm not spending the 47 years in a cell with Brutus over here, who told me I got cute glutes. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Stop looking at my glutes, Why Brutus. Why do you have to rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I got cute glutes, y'all. <laughs> cute glutes. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, right. Snitches do get stitches. I already know you would tell. 100%. Wow. I would never be in that situation. It's, it ain't, it's, uh, we're talking, it's hypothetical. hypothetical. The point of hypothetical is to put yourself into that situation. So hypothetically, I know you would tell. Here, Okay, whatever. What do you mean? I have no problem telling you I would tell right, on you, you throw, my mama, God himself. Yeah. I don't give a you fuck. Throw, you throw it out there that I would tell. I probably would. That's true. Okay. All right. This dude's going to die. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got to gonna... He's got to go into witness protection. Right. How do you go into witness protection with a 69 tattooed on your forehead? Dude, he's got to go to fucking Wyoming or fucking Kingston, Canada. Kingston, Kingston, the Kingston, mysterious Kingston, country of Jamaica, <laughs> or there. I guess he could go there. How long will it take for his rainbow hair to fade and will it be dyed again? Because here, eh, nah. he probably already dyed that shit with some prison dye. 
He's that. like, please, no. can we get some dye? No, he had to get that dye up out of his hair. It makes him look too cute. He, and I'm not even saying that, like, I think he's cute, but it made him well, look you, cute. You, you show in there, you're like a small, dainty, like, yeah. man, and you have rainbow hair. Everybody's yeah. like, oh, shit. The guys that are in there aren't even into dudes are like, oh, damn, yeah. look at this guy just rolled in I, here. Honestly, it's best bet. Just cut that shit off. He should have went in and just... Boom. My first stop is the barbershop. Cut the shit shave off. Shave me bald. Fucking yeah. shave off my eyebrows, too. Whatever, yep. make me as ugly as you possibly can make yep. me. Yep. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I uh, he's gonna have to change his name to like something else. I mean, yeah, but there's there's not much he can do now, and we kind of just have to wait and see what he's gonna say uh, next, or if he's gonna tell on everybody and get scot free, <laughs> right. or if he's gonna tell everybody and like I would love. If he wouldn't have went this protection and started releasing music. Oh, I'm not a Sakashi 6 9 fan, but some of his shit was catchy. All right. And I understand that he's not the best rapper and all of that. But right, right. Dude, I just want, I like music and yeah. I like music of all different kinds. Free my man Takashi. He'll, he'll, he'll be like Wit, Witness 74. He'll, that's what he'll put shit out under instead. Free Takashi 6 9. Free Takashi. <laughs> and Bobby Shmurda. And Bobby Schmurder, he's in jail too. Did, did he murder? Somebody? And take no, not take K, not take K. I don't know. See, murder in jail. I think he killed a man over a rap battle. Hmm. Yeah, good reason to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jonas, let's take right. us let's take us out of here. All right, all right, all right, everybody. That is all the time we have for today's episode. But do not fret; we will be back live next Tuesday. Next at Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I thought it was seven. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 oh, Central, okay. 5 Pacific. So you can give all the time zones? Whatever. You what time would it be in Canada? Uh, depends what time zone they're in, friend. That, that, that. Uh, you can also, please make sure to hit that follow button on our channel here on Twitch. We also have a YouTube, the replay. If you missed any of the show, it'll be on there tomorrow or the next day. Crazy Town Media on YouTube. Follow us on social media below. I'm not letting you get away with this. Name Testicles. Him. No, Jonas. Then don't tell me. I don't, want to, I don't want to call him that every time. Testicles? That's uh, a good name. All right, fine. No, we don't have to call him that. No, it's that. It is what it you is. You know, the next episode, I'm going to put some nameplates at the bottom. It'll, it'll say Jonas. It'll say Testicles. And it'll say fucking TNT Dynamite under under us so people know who we are. Fucking Anyways, testicles. also, if you want to hear the audio only version of this, it is it will be posted on iTunes, SoundCloud, all that podcast shit. But for Jonas... For TNT Dynamite. And, test- and for Testicles. We are... Are you doing YMCA? Out. Out.